Even though Blizzard has made some good strides towards allowing us to customize elements of the UI, I personally require additional configuration options to get it to exactly how I want it. LVUI is an add-on which allows me to do so. In this video, I will walk you through how to download and set up LVUI. Before I get started, if you enjoy these videos, please do like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. Also, check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash shibuwow, where I stream three to four times a week. All right, let's get started. First things first, we need to download LVUI. You need to download this. It's unfortunately not available on add-on managers like CurseForge. However, it's still a simple enough process. To do so, go to tuckui.org slash LVUI, which is T-U-K-U-I.org slash LVUI. Scroll down to the bottom and click Download LVUI. This will download a zip file for you. The contents of the zip file will then need to be copied into the WoW add-on folder. The easiest way to access the WoW add-on folder is on battle.net. Next to the play button, click this gear icon, select show in Explorer, then go into retail, then into interface, and finally into add-ons. You just need to take the contents of the zip file you just downloaded and extract them to this location. And that's it. You're all set with LVUI. Now, when you log in for the first time after installing LVUI, you will see a screen like this. This is the LVUI installation wizard. Since LVUI is a complete overhaul of the WoW UI, the only thing worth doing at this stage is to be mindful of certain add-ons that you wish to keep. For example, in my case, I use Plater nameplates so right now LVUI is asking me if I want to keep Plater or switch to LVUI nameplate. In my case, I'm going to stick with Plater. Now if you have other add-ons, maybe one for your bags for example, you will get a few more options to continue to select those type of add-ons if you want to keep them. In my case, I only had Plater, so that's all I had to select. For the rest of the installation UI, I would suggest just clicking continue through to the end and selecting finish. Now I'm on a character where I have LVUI set up to my liking. The best way to access LVUI is to type slash EC or you could just hit escape and select LVUI. Both of them do the exact same thing. LVUI has a huge number of options to change and it can be daunting to figure out how to change what specifically. The best way to do this is to select movers up top here. Once you hit movers, you can see all the different elements that LVUI has and it allows you to move them freely how you want and where you want them to be. What it also allows you to do to make things easier is just right click on any of these frames and it takes you directly to the settings for that frame. So in this case, I right clicked on party frames and LVUI took me exactly where I need to be, which is under unit frames, group units, party. And here's all the settings specific to that frame. But let's say maybe I didn't want to change party frames. I wanted to change action bar one. I right click on that and now I'm in action bar one and all the settings associated with that section. Let's quickly try and create something in LVUI. So again, I'm going to access LVUI. Let's say I wanted some big buttons right next to my character so that I can see some abilities that have just come off cooldown. I'm going to go to action bars since I find that to be the easiest way to just place some buttons on the screen. I'm going to find an action bar that isn't enabled right now. I know for a fact that six isn't enabled. I'm going to enable that action bar. It's popped up right here. Maybe I wanted to have three buttons instead of two. So I just drag this slider and maybe I want it to be just that little bit bigger or smaller, whatever you want to do. And now I have my action bar. I'm going to click exit and let's change some abilities on that action bar. So maybe instead of mangle, I want remove corruption. I'm going to place that there 
And now let's go ahead and move this action bar to where I want it to be. I want it to be right next to my character so I can always see these abilities. It's as simple as that. The one other thing that's really useful to do is to be able to just click in action bars. There is an option to do keybinds. You just click keybinds and it's very simple. So as you can see, the first ability here is bound to Q. If you hit escape, it removes the keybind. And while I'm hovering over that, if I hit Q, it's bounded to that key. It's as simple as that to get your key binds done the way you like them. You just hit save and that's it. As you can see, LVUI is extremely customizable. You have a huge amount of settings that you can play around with and change to the way you want them to look. However, LVUI also allows you to import profiles from other players. To do so, you just go to Profiles, Import Profile, and here you need to copy the text that the other individual is sharing with you. So if you like somebody's setup and they're willing to share their profile with you, all you need to do is take the text they give you, which would be an export out of their LVUI, and you would just click, paste it in here, click Import, and LVUI will configure your setup to look exactly like theirs. The other thing to note here is sometimes you have different characters where you want your setup to look slightly different. So here, I'm currently on my default profile, which I've set it up like this. However, I do have a monk character where I needed a few additional buttons on my action bars. So as you can see, if I wanted to, I can copy from my monk. And if I did that, it will bring in that profile and reconfigure my setup to look like the monk. So if you had different characters, this is how you would do it. If you make any changes here, they are being made to the default profile, or if you had named this profile something else initially, otherwise they would be made to the default profile. When you log into your next character, if you wanted them to look exactly like the default profile, you would just say copy from default. I can't see that here because I'm currently on default. But if you wanted them to be looking like one of your other characters, then you would select that option. All right, and that's all for this video. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.